Hello everybody, welcome back to Elden Ring. In this one we are going to be doing a combination of things that I think a lot of people, lots of people will be looking for. So we're starting at the Church of the Plague. Uh, we're going to be finding Celia Hideaway. In here is going to be Lusat, I think his name is, the other counterpart to Azure. Uh, he's going to give us a spell which will allow us to progress Celia's quest line, which at the same time allows us to progress Saluvis's quest line, which is what we're going to attempt to do in this video. Most likely should be pretty successful. So from here, we're going to want to head mostly north. The thing we are looking for as we move up this way is a grave, a uh, particularly um, prominent grave along the cliff line we can see just ahead of us just here. That is going to in going to signify where the false wall is, which is what makes this kind of difficult to see. Uh, we have the uh, the caster here that we need to take care of on the way in. Which I'll do very newishly, so sorry. No, not the gavel! No, not the gavel! There we go. Four. Let's get the blue off, was it? Beast blood, but then directly behind this, you want to come over to the wall here. Honest. Where we will be able to enter. So, the guy we're looking for is not actually behind the boss, but we are going to clear the cave. So, let's go ahead and take a rest. We have one of the human centipede boys down here. I have been delightfully informed by one of you, and I can't remember your name. Sorry, I am so sorry. Raise your hand, give me a wave in the comment section if it's you. Um, that the... like, What did he say they were called? Anyway, human centipede people, weak to holy. Because they're classified as undeath. So if you happen to have that, good on you. Uh, I have not prepared anything like that for this character. Maybe I should. Maybe like I should create like a, a toolbox video. I feel like that could be cool actually. Um, I'm going to go up to the left first. You. I love how even if this bounces it does so much damage. I can't remember what the boss to this place is either. What was the boss here? Boss is... Oh my god this is the triple chrysalians. Oh, <laughs> this place is actually disgusting. The boss here is disgusting. Yeah. There are quite a few of these now that I'm thinking about it. Crystallians, crystallians, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, I don't want that. What I want is... You. Uh, let's roll. with you. Many lose rewards. So yeah, there's our centipede. We don't really need to kill it. But it is uh, a good idea to do so anyway. Now we are going to head left first. Well, let me up. Get this guy. The rune. I don't remember, Ronnie. It was much easier to cheese from the end of this. Excuse me, will you please walk into my line of sight? We want your loot. It's not behaving. We'll come back for you. Now then, once we are here... How did we get back across? Over. Damn freaking thing that's kicking me off. Ow! 
ouch, 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 ouch. Stop that. Uh, and then is it? Yeah, that. I think it's that one will go down on for for the Lusat guy. Right. Crystals everywhere. Excuse me, crystal slug. No. I'm positive there's somebody out there right now going, hurry up! So much impatience. No, baby. I am sorry. I like to be methodical. And, we, and I like to clear these caves. Uh, so then we go... Well, we'll, we'll clear, clear our way down. We might as well clear our way down, because we've got triple, loose, uh, triple thingy. And uh, before that, we need to get some of you. Oh my god, that damage. And please not. Yes, you. Whoops. Ah, that's for safety. Excuse me. So this should be the way to the boss down here. Which is not where I want to go. I just want to see it. Yeah, we've got the shrine. And then the boss. Through there. That doesn't look like the boss room. Interesting. <laughs> I'm positive if we go back on the crystal that's headed backwards, we should end up at the Lusat. So, let's do that first, because that is the important thing and probably the thing that everybody's here to see. Here, obviously we have the key for this now, which is good. Stop it. Complete with his guard, as you might see. Apparently he's dangerous, you know. And I guess that just stops us coming here for it early. Stars of Ruin. I really don't like that spell. Tried it a few times and it just does not pack the wallop I would like it to pack. If it was good at like stunning or something like this, it might actually be useful, but it really just does not hit like I would like it to hit. Excuse me. Can you not? Give me all your lootage. Drop it up the stairs now. on our merry way. As it were. Where are we? Make the jump this time, that's what I say. Oh, we're on eight minutes. Yeah, we're good. So yeah, we'll finish this quest out, and then we can basically finish Celia's quest line, Suluvis quest line. Uh, Celia should end up at Rani's tower. Uh, but I think that, um, I don't know if there's like a, a barrier that's going to stop her turning into the weird freaking thing she turns into. Could be too funny. So I can't remember if we have to open the chest for it to finally change into craziness. Um, which is really essential for anything, it just means we get an extra spell. Uh, it's not one that's I've used very much, but we need to get that collection on. Y'all mean. Good thing it's got Sharon America pretty close to us, so. Even if we die, due to the fact that we've used a lot of our uh, resources already, we should be fine. Quite a lot of uh, slugs in this bit, if I remember. So we want to be wrapped as we go in. 
Yeah. So pop that on the end. Go through like that. And roll forward. Drop this guy out. Fucking shotgun over there. Alright, so we need to break one of these real quickly. Um, I find the spear guy the most impressive, so we're going to start with him. Ouch. God damn it, it's got a rut. No! Excuse me. No. Right, if this gets if this gets to like three on one, then like this is a crapshoot. Right. Come here, staff boy. God oh, damn it. Yeah, it's really not good now. <laughs> like being two on one against the rain guns isn't that much better either. Especially as they can fire through each other. Alright, good. Great. Oh, I really need those iframes. Honestly, real pain in the ass of an encounter, in my opinion. I'm dead anyway. <laughs> Scott or Ross got me. Okay, we're going round two. Okay, so we'll cut back in, probably through round two of mega obnoxious boss fight here. Right, let's try and get on this guy, come on. Oh man, a freaking Scarlet Riot is a nightmare. Oh, come in, you. Maybe we should stop Mr. Caster. Huh? Freaking obscene. I hate this fight so much. Come on. Just can't get any freaking damage out. Right, one down. Freaking crystallines, come on. Right, if we can just deal with this guy before Lutal goes down, we're fine. There we go. It's fine. It's fine. <sighs> See ya. Uh, I'm not. A, I'm really not a fan of this fight, mostly because it's three of these, and they are a freaking pain in the ass. There we go, crystal time. Nice new. Can we fast travel stay out? Yes, we can. And we are going to go to the waypoint ruins cellar. Make sure we're rested. Don't want anything to go too wrong now. Speak to you. We sent the location. We did. Thank you very much. Now should be able to go to Sluvis, I believe. Uh, I might as well cut straight to his tower. So if I'm correct, we should be able to. What's that? You want another puppet? Quite the keen paramour, aren't we? But I'm afraid each and every one is like a child to me. I can hum. Oh dear. Why don't you... If you... The soul of every... And once... Oh yes. There we go. 
So now we can obtain puppets. Obviously, if you've been collecting the Starlight Shards, we can get these. Uh, if you gave the potion to uh, Nefeli, and I think you can give it to Dung Eater as well, they will also be available here as puppets. You're proving to be quite... I've not had an apprentice. Begging for a Delamay. I think that's this. Perhaps you'd be interested there in we go. Which I aspire to apply to fool even Lady Rani. I you're just like then I'd like you to a rather unique starlight with that my special draft will gleam with nectar sweetness and <laughs> well well the blessed goodness of think ma ah oh, oh yes I, I yeah, please now just you wait the scheme I promised is to be revealed so that's that. And now we will go back to Celia. She should want us to sell in, should I say? She should want us to do some stuff. Uh, in terms of his progress, then, <clears throat> according to the wiki, uh, if you take his quest all the way to the end, we can still complete Rennie's quest by using by seeking absolution. Oh no, she's not asking me to go. I was just waiting to ask me to go see her in the swamp. I guess that's not going to be until later. Interesting. I thought it'd be, I thought it'd be now, but apparently not. Uh, but either way, uh, look, 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 so that's her complete. He is complete as he is as complete as I want to get him. the The wiki says that um, we could we could progress him further. So now. Uh, he'll ask us to administer the Amber Draft to Rani, but we're not going to do that. Um, it, I don't think it gets us anything, even if we do, and I'd rather not risk her falling out with us. And then not being able to fix it with the Celestial Dew, which you're apparently able to, but um, that's not what I'm going to be doing. But that should all activate, so basically once we uh, defeat Radan and a Comet is going to hit down here, um, that's going to allow us a load of access to a lot of uh, Rennie's quest line. We're also going to catch up with Fia down there. Um, Blythe's quest line is going to complete down there. Um, a, ton, a ton, basically most of the NPCs that we've got contact with, with right now are, are all going to be down there. Dee's brothers down there it is literally like NPC heaven, so it starts getting real small and heavy real quick, quite soon. Um, so that said, we we've done most of Gilmere now. That's going to be basically a cleanup episode at this point. We've got like this bit with a boss and an nerd tree to do, and then this bit with the castle and the magma dragon, and well, this. But that's going to be after we've gotten to the snowy area. So I think that is everything for this episode because we want to keep it to Celia Hideaway and Saluvis's quest line. I'm going to double check. There's nothing else that we want to do before we enter into Redmain Castle and take on Radan. Um, getting through into Raid Main Castle at this point is basically going to be a nothingness. Um, so yeah, that will be that will be it for this episode. See you guys again soon.